Nestled amongst the 20 km golden sands of Natai Beach, Alinta Phuket Panga Resort and Spa for relaxing, romancing or even a dream wedding in paradise. Alinta Phuket Pangna Resort and Spa is your destination. I'm JP here for the Phuket News TV and we're here at British International School at a training session for the High Performance Academy. Now this place has been cultivating some of the top athletes in the region for quite some time now. And their swimming team are starting to set national records all over Asia. And some of them have even qualified or set times to qualify for the World Youth Games. And we're gonna to talk to Coach Simon Jones and some of the swimmers about what makes them tick and what makes them such good athletes. And now we're here with Simon Jones, the head coach of the High Performance Academy swim team. How good this team really is right now. Okay, well, this team was established back in August last year, August 2013. Uh, we had literally four to five weeks to actually compile a group of international class swimmers uh, that are based on the scholarship program here at BISP. And uh, the swimmers that we managed to attain on the team all came from international swimming backgrounds. Uh, we have two swimmers that are representing the Philippines. We had two swimmers from Singapore. We have a girl from Malaysia. Um, sorry, one from Hungary and two from Malaysia, actually. Um, so within that very short period of time over the summer break, we were able to compile a very, very strong swimming academy. And this is going to be replicated again this coming summer with a further six or seven international swimmers joining the team. And the aim is that each year, we will continue to add between five to eight international athletes on the program. I see. And um, last year, you guys have been to a number of a very tough competitions, you know, some that are, are some of the toughest in the world, actually. Some of your swimmers have done very well in those competitions, haven't they? Yes, uh, I have to say the, the first meet we went to was the Singapore World Cup back in uh, November of last year. We took just three swimmers to that competition, um, two Philippine swimmers and our girl from Hungary. All three performed exceptionally well. They were racing Olympic and World Championship swimmers. Um, they were actually in the same heats and races as a lot of these Olympic superstars, um, you know, which was excellent experience for these guys. It was hosted in Singapore, uh, some great atmosphere. And we ended up with four national records broken by the two uh, Philippine swimmers. And we followed that up with a larger team event where we took 10 swimmers down to Australia in December, just before Christmas for the Queensland State Championships. Uh, that is one of the world's fastest age group swim meets. We came away from there with every one of our athletes actually qualifying for the finals. We broke a further two Philippine national records and we actually finished with six Youth Olympic Games uh, qualifying standards within that competition. So fantastic exposure. And this year, 2014, we're looking to springboard on from that uh, with more international honors being, being attained. And how do you do it? You know, in such a short amount of time, you've been able to cultivate some, some potential you know, world champions here. Well, I have to say, uh, myself, having come from uh, probably 15 years of coaching background in, in a number of countries and, and top international teams, BISP, the, the British International School, the headmaster, Mr. Neil Richards, has really been instrumental in providing both the academic support uh, and also the, the facilities, the boarding and, and uh, the, the sports nutrition for the athletes to ensure that really the environment here at BIS uh, is conducive for the swimmers to train uh, to the best of their abilities, combine their academic studies and enable them to rest, uh, you know, enough in between. They're, they're currently training nine sessions per week and we have four to five land work sessions on top of that. Um, and I'm sure any coach would be happy with, uh, you know, for what we've had since August, which is 100% attendance from our swimmers at practice. So we, we've got a group of very, very dedicated athletes. And uh, I think the, the multitude of nationalities here has really lent itself well for the swimmers to also learn from their peers. So uh, it's been a good learning experience for all of them. but. 
you know, I, I think anybody at this level would say you're always trying to strive to something slightly higher in the next level. So Youth Olympic Games would be great, but we're also looking towards Rio 2016 on uh, providing the backbone for these swimmers to, to progress and gain selection there. Okay guys, now I'm here with Roxanne Yu, one of the top swimmers here at the High Performance Academy at BIS. And Roxanne, you've had some really good success recently. Can you just tell us a little bit about uh, some of your achievements within the last year? So, um, the first meet we had was in Singapore and I fairly did alright. I broke um, some national records in the Philippines and um, as well as in December, we had a competition in Queensland. I ranked second in the overall finals in my age group, and I also broke my personal best, so it was pretty good. Yeah. And you might be going to uh, the World Youth Olympics later this year. You know, what, uh, what are your plans for the future? Well, I just want to take it one step at a time, so maybe SEA Games first, and if I qualify for that, maybe the Asian Games, and if possibly if I train hard enough and get better times, maybe the Olympics, I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, now we're here with Eric Tan, the 50-year-old swimmer here from the High Performance Academy at British International School. Now, Eric, I wanted to ask you, how does it feel to be training alongside some people who you could potentially be competing against in the near future? Uh, so, training with like people that's faster than me, I feel like I have competitions and they can like push me up to improve. And when I train, it won't be as boring like when you always go first. You can like compete with each other. And uh, since you've arrived at British International School last year, what are some of the top uh, moments that you can recall, some of, some of your proudest achievements in the last year? Um, last year in Queensland, I did quite okay because um, I was sick, but I still did some PBs, which is good. And about a month ago, I went to Singapore National Age Group and I smashed um, some PBs. And um, I'm still currently um, rank one in Malaysia for my age group for some of the events, so I'm quite happy. Okay. And what have uh, you know? What are your goals for the for the future? You know, I mean, you're here for a couple more years, so you're on the younger side of this stuff, but you'll have more time to to really develop. So what uh, what are some things you want to achieve? Okay. So first of all, um, I want to qualify to uh, YOG with Youth Olympic Games, which won't be easy and also AYG, Asian Youth Games. Yeah, that's like the main ones. And for a longer period, maybe I want to go to Olympics. Well, there you have it. Coach Simon Jones believes he has a, a couple of future Olympians in its midst. And we found out that two of the swimmers really have a bright future ahead of them. They have some high hopes for themselves. It looks like they'll be able to achieve some, some really great things in the near future. From all of us here at Phuket News TV, take care and thank you for watching. <laughs>